Hello all, um, I'm Kevin. Uh, I'm gonna be talking about a new feature that I'm adding to messaging. Uh, it's very much a work in progress. Um, right now, uh, we're using, to, for uh, processing our Kafka messages, we're using Faust. Um, but after we process a message, uh, even if it fails, uh, we have no way of going back and replaying this message uh, because it's possible that the failure wasn't due to some of the message contents, but rather due to the state of our deployment, whether that be the uh, a broken image or a uh, component in our deployment going down. Um, so if, if, if either of these cases happens, we'd like to, instead of, um, instead of failing and then having to eventually create the message again through our uh, event-driven architecture, we'd rather to be able to just know how long that the component or uh, image has been down for and then replay those messages after we fix the issue. Uh, so here I have a, um, everyone can see my screen, right? Yes, no, maybe. Yes. Oh, oh no, yes. Uh, so here I have a uh, message consumer um, and a message producer. All the message producer is doing is sending a message every three seconds. Um, and the consumer is literally just uh, noting the message offset and the partition that the message is from and then the message contents. Um, so I created a REST API endpoint um, for the Faust server, which takes um, the topic name on the uh, deployment and then the timestamp that you're trying to seek to. Um, so I just have one from a few minutes ago. Uh, that's the UTC epoch timestamp uh, in seconds. Uh, and if I enter, uh, you see that it's a six, and then you see if I go up a ways, we see it's, it's counting up, it's counting up, and then all of a sudden it goes back down to zero. Um, so this isn't working quite right yet. Uh, right now, we are able to replay all messages, um, but the actual timestamp is not, uh, it's not, it's not resetting back to the timestamp. Instead, it's resetting back to offset zero and then replaying all the messages again, which might be useful. Um, but that's why it's a work in progress because uh, we can't quite, I can't quite yet get it uh, to replay bit to a specific uh, timestamp. Um, yeah, that, that's about it. Um, if anyone has any questions about, like, mm -hmm. about it then. So when when do we use it? Um, so we we get all these manage, uh, messages from the graph refresh shop. Uh, we figure out something is broken uh, due to the fact that we stored all these messages um, on disk. We can replay from any point in time. So we correlate where was what was the time investor investigator has been crashing or broken, and then we're exactly. going to replay these messages. Right, therefore that timestamp is important. I see. Yeah, nice. Uh, sounds like um, if we really have a look at uh, persistent uh, Kafka messages, the replay feature, and the good monitoring, we can basically replay and recreate the knowledge uh, that we might have missed due to some crashes. Yeah, and I should also note that I my goal here was to do it based on the time that the message was consumed rather than the time that the message was sent. Uh, so I'm I'm noting the offset each time a message is consumed because um, I that seemed more useful to me than replaying based off of the sender timestamps. Exactly. Especially if you recall what uh, Francesco said, if we have 20,000 um, things to do, it might take a little bit of time. So the time of consumption is more important than the time of creation. Yeah. Cool. Uh, any other question, comment? Cool. Uh, thanks for that, uh, Kevin.